Do you waste a lot of time in front of the government portal downloading one report after the other? In this video, I'll show you how you can save your precious time and download your full year GSTR 2A very quickly. What's the GSTR 2A report? Your suppliers and vendors upload their sales invoices into the GSTR 1 return. These invoices get auto-populated as input tax credit in the 2A report. The 2A gets updated in a real-time basis. Here is an example. An invoice dated April 1st, 2020, the taxpayer, the supplier uploads in their GSTR June 2020 GSTR1. So let's say they are a quarterly GSTR1 filer. The GSTR1 was actually uploaded very late, only on 10th January 2021. The moment the GSTR1 gets up, updated, the invoice will reflect in the GSTR 2A in real time on the same date, 10th January 2021. In which GSTR 2A can we find this invoice? This is a question that usually we get. This invoice will be in the June 2020 GSTR 2A, which is the same period as the GSTR 1 in which the taxpayer had uploaded the invoice. I'll show a demo of how to download the GSTR 2A from the government portal. I'll not show it end to end, it takes about 40 minutes. I'll also show a very quick demo of how to download using GST Send. You can check the time yourself, it will take less than two minutes. Now let's head to the live demos. I'm in the return dashboard of the government portal. Let me choose the period 2020-21, which I'm interested in, April. You will know in the government portal, every click will you will waste time and when you click search, the screen will rotate and then you'll have to wait for every, every mouse click. So now I am going to say generate JSON file to download. You will see that the JSON file is a little bit old. So if I try to regenerate the JSON file, it will say the request for generation is acknowledged. It will take up to 20 minutes. So you can refresh this and see if the data is available. It will take 20 minutes. Now you'll have to report, you'll have to do this process for the month of May, June, July, and so on and so forth. Download all the JSON files, or if you're doing Excel, download all the Excel files, combine them before you can get a single GSTR 2A report for the full year. Now let's head over to GST Zen. This is the GST Zen dashboard. Let me start from adding a new GST number. Let me type the GST number. I'll choose the regular taxpayer and I have added the GST number. Once the GST number is added, the first step here, there is a quick action menu. Let me choose download a report download the full A GSTR report and I can specify the year. I'll choose 2021, the financial year. GST Zen comes with two options, login using OTP or with the username password. For this demo, let me use the username password method. Let me type my government portal username and I'll enter the capture. And there you go. So I have logged in to the government portal through GST Zen. Here is the table where I can download the details. You will see here, this yellow circle indicates that it is not yet downloaded and the green tick will indicate the data is downloaded. Now let's look at the time. I guarantee you this will be done in less than two minutes. So I just select all these returns. I say download and I say yes in a few seconds. The software will go one month after the other. And therefore, yeah, you can even see the countdown timer here. It says 25 seconds. And one month after the other, we'll be downloading uh, April, uh, May, June, so on, until the March return. That's it. So you'll wait 30 seconds, and all your data will be available uh, in from the downloaded from the government portal and will be saved 
into GSTZ and we have these readily available reports here. These are reports for the month of April through May. So there is a monthly report for each month you can get the GST R2A report or you can get a report for the full year. Let me just check when this was last downloaded. It was downloaded about 13, 14 seconds ago and I am now ready to download the full year report. I'll open this report. In fact, most of the time here is spent in opening Excel and on the various screens. The actual time to do the download you will see is less than a few seconds, right? So here, here we go. So here we have all the data downloaded from the government portal. So there are about 457 invoices in the full year and this is the taxable amount. There is also a breakup by month from April 2020 to May, March 2021. Here are the B2B invoices, the supplier GST number, the invoice number, date, the supplier filing status, so on and so forth. That brings me to the end of my demo. Thank you for watching. Do sign up to use GST Zen or you can get in touch with us through these modes. Thank you.